The oldest sentence written in the early alphabet has been deciphered. In 2017, a 3,700 year old ivory comb was discovered in Israel. Although the discovery was made five years ago, it was only recently that inscriptions in Canaanite were found on the artifact, which the researchers believe contain possibly the oldest complete sentence written using the earliest known alphabet. Many ancient languages are still a mystery to scientists. For some, it turns out to be extremely difficult to read them. For others the problem is just finding enough words written in them. This applies, for example, to the Canaanite language. Until now, artifacts with inscriptions consisting of two or three words have been found. But in 2017 an ivory comb was found with a complete sentence in Canaanite written on it. The first alphabet is believed to have been developed by the Semitic peoples around 1800 to 2000 BC. However, the early history of the alphabet is little known due to a lack of archaeological evidence. This state of affairs is changed by an inscription from a recently found comb. It shows that this alphabet was already in everyday use 3,700 years ago. The description and results of the research were published in the Jerusalem Journal of Archaeology. The Canaanite language remains one of the most mysterious ancient languages. This is because we still know very little about it. Only a few words written in it have been found in Israel so far. In this context, the latest discovery is particularly relevant. It is about a comb from about 3,700 years ago. It was made of ivory, which was quite an expensive material at that time. Usually combs were then made of wood or ordinary bone. Those made of ivory the Canaanites must have imported, probably from Egypt. This comb was found in Telephone Lachish where the ancient Canaanite city of Lachish was located. Researchers from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem and the American Southern Adventist University contributed to this. It happened a few years ago, in 2017. The comb is small, its dimensions are only 3.5 cm by 2.5 cm. In its original state, there were teeth on both sides of it. Although their base is still visible, they were all broken in antiquity. On one side of it there were six thicker teeth that were used to detangle hair. There were 14 teeth on the other side, but they were smaller. Their destiny, in turn, was to remove lice and their eggs. However, the most important thing is what is on the comb. This is a complete sentence written in Canaanite which is a kind of wish as to the effectiveness of the comb in the fight against lice. The inscription itself was read by Dr. Daniel Vainstub of Ben Gurion University. At first, however, she was not even noticed. It was spotted only in 2022 during subsequent research. The inscription is shallow, and the surface of the comb was quite worn, probably as a result of frequent use. In addition, the letters themselves were not too large, because their width was in the range of 1 to 3 millimeters. In total, the inscription consists of 17 Canaanite letters, which in turn make up 7 words. This inscription can be translated as, May this fang eradicate the lice from the hair and beard. It should be emphasized that this is the first complete sentence written in this language so far found in Israel. In addition, this sentence is unique for one more reason, because it refers directly to the purpose of the item, and not, for example, to its owner. Both this sentence and the design of the comb show that even the upper-class people of the time, who could afford to use combs made of such expensive material, had problems with lice. This is also confirmed by the research of scientists who looked at the comb under a microscope. And it turned out that tiny, 
0.5 to 0.6 mm, remnants of lice were found on the second tooth, which only confirms that the ancient engraver wrote the truth on the comb. Just one scratch on a Teflon pan can release thousands of microplastic particles. When preparing meals, it may happen that we scratch the surface of the pan with a Teflon coating with a kitchen utensil. It may seem that this is a trifle that does not hinder the use of the pan in practice. However, as it turns out, even a small damage can later have a significant impact on our health. A single scratch in a Teflon pan can release thousands of microplastic particles, scientists have reported. Anyway, you don't even need to scratch the pot or pan, because they lose their coating as they are used and washed. At the outset, it should be recalled that Teflon, i.e. polytetrafluoroethylene, is a material that decomposes for an extremely long time. It is not without reason that it has been included in the list of the so-called eternal chemicals. These include PER and polyfluoroacrylates, PFAS, which have already been proven to be harmful to our health. It can therefore be expected that the Teflon we consume would not contribute to the better functioning of our body. And getting its particles into our interior is not impossible. Because the Teflon surface of the pans we use for frying is constantly worn out as a result of, for example, mixing dishes and, of course, damage. However, the question arises how many such harmful particles can be released in this way. Materials engineers from Australia's Flinders University decided to tackle this issue. They were interested in emerging micro and nanoplastic particles. For this purpose, they used Raman spectroscopy. Another tool they used were algorithms developed especially for this purpose, which were supposed to determine how much of the above-mentioned particles can fall off the Teflon and end up in the food we eat, in order to create the right conditions for the experiments. The scientists took various Teflon-coated kitchen utensils to the workshop. Then, to simulate the conditions in which we prepare meals, they began rubbing the surface with various types of kitchen utensils, made of made of stainless steel, plastic and wood. The fact is that the research did not use real food, oil or even water to for example, create conditions similar to real cooking or frying. It turns out that if such a kitchen utensil severely scratched the Teflon surface, it could lead to the release of as much as 2.3 million micro and nanoplastic particles in just 30 seconds of cooking. A single scratch on the Teflon coating was enough to release over 9,000 microplastic particles. However, in order to clearly state what the scale of this phenomenon may be during the usual use of e.g. Teflon pans and the scale of contamination of our meals with these particles and, above all, its effects, it will be necessary to conduct more research. However, they may lead to such conclusions that, for example, Teflon-coated pans, even undamaged ones, will have to be thrown away after some time or these coatings will have to be more resistant.